Bernard Fowler has just about done it all. Rock, jazz, funk, pop, Latin, trombone player, songwriter, percussionist, keyboardist and producer and all-round good guy. Bernard, oh, thank you for joining us. Too kind, Mike. Thanks. Nice to be here. You had a big night last night? Yeah, we did our Monday night. You know about the Monday <laughs> That's night. That's right. So you haven't gone to bed yet? I did go to bed, but not very long <laughs> because of you. Thank you. But I'm worth it, aren't hey, I? Hey, absolutely. I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> uh, how did you get into music? Uh, when, I was a, when I was a kid, uh, I played basketball all my life mm -hmm. growing up. And uh, I had just come, I just come from a game that we we won, mm -hmm. and uh, we were uh, we were standing on the block. I grew up in a I grew up in a Queensbridge Projects, New York City, Long Island City, and in the middle of the block there are like these card tables where people play chess, and and we're sitting there uh, with quarts of beer that we had somebody buy for us. Yeah, we were celebrating. How old were you? It's about <laughs> 15 or something oh, like okay. that. Uh, and um, this guy, this guy heard, heard us singing and uh, he came over and he said, hey, listen, you know what? He said, you sound really good. He said, I, I, I play guitar in a band. And uh, we just lost our singing. He said, would you come and audition? Um, you know, I love music and I love singing, but I had never... I had never really done anything mm. other than talent shows and stuff like that, so I didn't go to the audition. And he came to my house again and said, hey man, please make the audition. I didn't go to the audition. Mm. Then he came to my house and asked my mother, he said, please tell Bernard to come. And my mother said, oh, this guy came by and blah, 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 blah. I said, okay, ma, I didn't go. So he, uh, he came. <laughs> He, I ran into him in the street. He was dating uh, this a friend of mine's uh, sister, mm. and he says, "Listen, man, I've been trying to get you to come to this audition for you know for like weeks now. If you don't come, if you don't come this weekend, you know, up yours." So uh, I kind of took that as a talent. So I went, audition, got the gig. Yeah. The next, the next week. I was in a, a recording studio doing my first album. Wow. And New York, though, is a major part of your, your whole makeup. I mean, from starting performing, mm. basketball, starting performing, and then the New York City Peach Boys with uh, Larry Levan. Larry Levan. That was, uh, you, know, after, you know, after I told you about that uh, first record that I recorded, um, I spent a, a couple of years with them and actually actually got kicked off the got kicked off the ball team because I was rehearsing after practice. The coach didn't want me to do that. He told me, you know, you need to make a choice, Fowler. You're gonna sing or you're gonna play basketball. And I was shocked that he that he was given, you know, giving me this ultimatum. So I was really hurt by it, you know, and I was I was young, and so I play I played I always played ball with the old older guys. So I basically told them to piss off, and uh, I quit the team, and I went, you know, full on with the music. Good basketball. I was I was good. L.A. Lakers. Oh man, I could have made it. No, check this. I'll give you a quick story. A friend of mine that I used to play uh, local ball with. Okay, he went to university and played, you know, college mm -hmm. ball. So uh, maybe a year or so, two years ago, he calls me. He says, he says, Bernard, I'm sending you an email. You got to check this out. He said, you want to see this? So I think it was called uh, Hoopsville USA, right? And what it was, it was a list of um, it was a list of uh, ball players, like uh, from high school to college, mm. and what they did after, you know. And so I'm looking for his name because I know he, you know, played in college. You know, I'm looking for his name. You know, da 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 da. da. I'm scrolling down and I see my name. You were there. I was on the list. It said Bernard Fowler, 
Long Island City High School, the Rolling Stones. Because <laughs> <laughs> you look like Mick Jagger. <laughs> it's funny because everybody else had, you know, uh, you know, university, or they went on to do this, you know, went on to do that, and it's Bernard Fowler Rolling Stones. I thought that was pretty funny. You actually had a, a very interesting career making other people sound better. I mean, first of all, you, you performed with Herbie Hancock, but also with Public Image. Tell us about that. Because that's a pretty wild move to the left for you, isn't it? No. <laughs> Actually, it's not. <laughs> but this is, the, this is the side of Bernard that they will never see. But the other side, which we do see, I mean, that's a uh, pretty wild move. I yeah. Mean, um, tell us about it. Uh, so uh, Bill Laswell calls me one day, and uh, you know I I used to do um, I used to do a lot of stuff for Bill, and one thing that I used to do was um, I would double double uh, the lead vocals of mm. of you know singers mm. that he would produce, like um, I did uh, I did Ozzy Osbourne, I doubled Ozzy Osbourne's vocal for. Uh, Eating bats heads. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's what's in there actually. Bats heads. <laughs> no, he uh, he did a he did a, a song for uh, Beavis and Butthead. All right. And he got sick, mm. so he wasn't able to uh, double his voice to make that Aussie sound. So a friend of mine called me, and I went there and I mm. doubled his voice. Mm. I'll tell you that story later. But um, so I was, you know the. Uh, uh, Bill Laswell called me and said, hey man, I need you to come and work with me on this, um, on this public image record, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, kind of be Johnny's uh, voice coach. And it worked, sort of. You know what, I don't know, I don't know if it was worked Was it a hard or gig? You know what? It was it was a real easy gig. Johnny and I got along really well. You know, we'd make the record and walk up Fifth Avenue, and I'd watch him piss people off. I I, I used to love watching him do that. Um, it wasn't that difficult of a record. Um, I I have a you know I have a a knack for you know singing with people. You know, singing their inflections. You know. So it sounds like two of them instead of them and me. It sounds like just, it sounds like them. Mm. And uh, I did that for that record as well as I did all the, um, all the background arrangements and, you know, performance. I did all of that for that record. Mm. 